It was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. Push Aaron, push Aaron. Push, push, push. Two, push. As soon as you get it out, Aaron, start pushing. Five seconds left. Six. Thirty seconds left. Hey, I want to make money. You got me out of swim. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. Twenty seconds. So he said, "Come out a little further. Walk out a little further. Don't bend out. Right around this area. Hey. Don't get here." Man, 13 crazy. seconds. Money, get down and back. Get a bucket. Down and back. Came out a little farther. Came out a little farther. Was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little farther. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, holding him down. My man didn't scratch it, holding him down. He had him held down. Just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want it. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta wanna be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Beyonce said once she was on the set doing her thing, three days had gone by, she forgot she didn't eat. Cause she was engaged. I never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie, I did a little research on 50, and 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, Pimpy? Sleep, he said, sleep. Sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. 
but I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me, I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flip, you can be excited when we give away money, but listen to me, you will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say, I don't need that money, because I got it in here. I'm fragile. I feel pain. I hurt. I open my eyes. I create. I conquer. I hold the power. I'm a thinker. I crave victory. I do not give up. I feel no fear. I fear no man. I'm an athlete, a warrior, an artist. Some of y'all been worshipped since you was in high school, so you don't really know how to grind. <laughs> like, you talk grind. Like, I, I love it. Like, I go into the weight room, and y'all playing like Pac. Y'all playing Biggie. Like, y'all all in it. Like, you like you like Pac, but you don't have the spirit of Pac. You like love Pac. You like listening to Pac. You like listening to Biggie. You like to talk about the grind, but you don't really know what the grind is like. I know what the grind is like. I started from the bottom. What is your bottle when you've been worshipped since middle school? You've been tall your whole life, big your whole life. They worship you so much now that you think it's about you. You don't even know what the grind look like. I'm from Detroit, homeless. Mama got pregnant with me at 17 years old, high school dropout. Took me 12 years to get a four-year degree. I'm coming now. It's in view. You finally made it to the big leagues, and now you want to chill? Now you got the big head? Now you can't grind? You here now. You here now, you finally made it. And this is where you, you break up? This is where you start chilling? This is where you get comfortable? You made it now. You made it now. You in the big leagues now. They watching you now. This is where you make it permanent. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it. Perfect, perfect. No, practice don't make perfect. Practice make permanent. permanent. This is permanent, y'all. This is permanent. You can go wherever you want to go from here. It does not take talent. You don't have to be talented, right? You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to be the quickest, the strongest. You don't have to be the most intelligent to get to where I am. That's what you got to do. You just got to grind, though. Your grind, you got to outgrind. So many of you heard me say this. Your father, listen to me, might own a company. Your mama might be a millionaire. You might come from privilege. Your daddy might hook you up with a car. He might know people. He might be able to get you a job. But you will not outwork me. And what you have to decide in your position in the NCAA, you have to make a decision that nobody in this league in your position will outwork you. Listen to me. You better grow up and get to the point as a man that if you ever get beat, you better get beat by somebody that's just that's just purely more talented than you are. You better not ever get beat by somebody because you beat yourself. You have to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. Let me tell you something, you sit in this room, you think you're going to be 18 for the rest of your life, you think you're going to be 19 for the rest of your life, you got an opportunity right now that you won't have five years from now. You have an opportunity right now that you'll never have. People say, why you grind so hard, E? I might not be the number one motivational speaker in the world five years from now. I got to get everything I can get right now, every book I can write. And listen to me, my school is being paid for by the athletic department. I'm hot right now. Right here, you may never get another one. Some of you, after this, there may not be another opportunity. Let me tell you what I tell athletes. The worst thing in the world is not growing up in poverty. The worst thing in the world is growing up in poverty and coming here and get worshipped and not taking advantage of this and you gotta go back to the hood. That's, that's the worst thing that can ever happen to a bro. You better not lose this. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Your grandma counting on you to do the right thing. Your mama counting on you. Your cousins, your brothers and sisters are counting on you to, to cash in on this opportunity. Everybody want to be a beast. Everybody want to be a beast. Until it's time to do what beasts do. Until it's time to do what beasts do. Everybody.
Everybody want to be a beast. Everybody got a lot. Tattoos are lions. Lions all on their Twitter paper. Everybody got the lion thing out their tweet now. Roar. But when it's time to practice, you ain't on beast mode. Let me say this and I'm getting out of here. Can I be real with y'all? Most of y'all think that a lion is who he is because of how ferocious he is when he catch that gazelle. But when he catch that zebra, can I be real with y'all? Part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. They like to see the gazelles run. They boom, they take off. Cause real lions like to hunt. They love the process, the process, just as much as they love the pride. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. A real man, when coach ain't even watching, he's studying film on his own. Because he's he loves the process. If you will be a champion, if you will be a beast, you're going to have to go through something. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. Ain't nobody going to hand you no championship. Ain't nobody going to hand you no title. So this is my year, I end, this is my year. Listen to me, say be phenomenal, this is it. I want you to chant it out, this is it. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. Last time, one, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. That's my time.